not a good one at all. <laughs> So I've actually gained a lot of weight over the last couple of weeks due to my very, very bad eating behaviors. And so my body just in itself doesn't feel good right now. And I also just feel very like heavy and just very sluggish. So today when I was running, I felt very slow and I couldn't really push myself either because I just wasn't in the right headspace for it. Anyways, I'm going to go. There were downsides of being in isolation um, in the sense of me feeling like I was kind of out of control with my eating. I weighed myself and my weight was very close to my starting weight and so that was a bit like... <laughs> yeah, it was just frustrating because like it's just something I've never been able to get around. treat that we have in the house. Um, I'm just gonna eat my dinner here while I watch a movie. I'll show you what I made actually. I decided to make myself a little bulgogi, bulgogi, a, bulgogi a little like bulgogi don. So, oh, oh you can't really see it. But... So this is taking me a little while. I have now finished the modules. It's actually not that late in the night, but um, I'm going to have an early night because I am quite tired and I haven't really been feeling the best. I want to sleep early so that I get a good night's sleep and I can wake up feeling a bit better.
I've just been emailed from work just to complete a couple of modules. Yeah, I'm gonna try and smash through them. I was meant to be driving back to Melbourne tonight but there has been a change of plans because by the time I finished all of my meetings it got a little bit late and so it meant that if I drove home tonight I'd be driving at dusk slash sunset like I would only drive in those conditions but something that my dad has kind of drilled into me is to not drive at dawn or at dusk because that's when the kangaroos go a bit ballistic on the roads and I've had plenty of peers and people around me who've gotten into accidents with kangaroos. I'd feel more comfortable and safe driving in the morning so I'm just going to drive home tomorrow but that means I can go to trivia night tonight. Today is a special day because today is Rachel's graduation ceremony. Yeah, she graduated in 2020, but because of COVID, she didn't get a proper graduation ceremony. Um, and so Melbourne University have been doing like all these um, like catch up graduation ceremonies and hers is today. And so, yeah, I'll be going to Melbourne Uni today to see Rachel and um, the whole crew. And because I'll be in the city anyway, I decided to catch up with Minji and Angie. It's gonna be quite a good day. such a struggle getting here. The car parking situation was just like horrible. I think it took me like 20 minutes to find a car park spot. So yeah, feeling quite flustered. Anyways, I'm just waiting for Minji now and yeah, we're gonna have fun. to get here. Um, it's been such a long time since I've come back to Melbourne Uni and um, it feels a bit weird. <laughs> like back when I was an undergrad student, I think I was a bit too stressed out to really appreciate this place for what it is. Um, but coming here again, um, it's a really nice campus. Yeah, there are a lot of people graduating today. I can't wait to graduate as well. <laughs> So this is Sabrina, this is Rachel's younger sister. Hello. We didn't end up going into the ceremony. 
she's been spending a solid five minutes yeah, being nostalgic. <laughs> Probably like one of the happiest periods of my life was on this campus. It's always just like, hey, just hey. happiness. <laughs> so we are going to race each other in Wordle. So. And I will be a sole loser if I lose. Yeah. Well, I won't! Oh, it's none of those. Oh, I just got one from that. I should stop over playing. Oh my gosh. I got it. What? <laughs> what? 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 You what don't is believe it? me. Okay, well, I'll just play by myself. <laughs> stop it. Kill me. Like. Oh my god. I got three green ones. <laughs> She's actually such a comedian. <laughs> Alright, so Esther and I are at Office Works. This is a place where we became friends. So basically, when we were in our first year of med school, um, I think we got on the tram together. Yeah. And it was like the first time I properly met Esther. I had something on, so I was waiting to kill, I was like trying to kill time. Yeah. And then I was like, oh yeah, like what are you doing afterwards? And Esther's like, oh, I have to go to office works to get something. And I was like, oh, what are you getting? And she's like, oh, it's, just, uh, it's a personalized wrapping paper. <laughs> and I was like, oh, a personalized wrapping paper? Like, what do you mean? And she's like, oh, it's just got my boyfriend's face all over it. <laughs> and that was like a creepy first impression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I lost every game. Four zero. <laughs> this is just too good. Oh. 